Well, after a two year long wait, the Umbrella Academy is going to be arriving back on our screens for the final time. With a somewhat divisive season three, which came after two incredible seasons, the teaser trailer for the new season has most definitely set the tone for what looks like an epic conclusion to the story that we got on board with several years ago. With the end of season three providing an almost reset to a lot of things and leaving the siblings without their powers, the future looks interesting for certain. So let's jump into this teaser trailer and break down everything that there was to take away from it. Plus, I'll also give my theories and predictions. Here is the Umbrella Academy Season 4 teaser trailer explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So the trailer for Season 4 opened up with us hearing the speech that Reginald Hargreaves gave in the very first episode of the very first season of the show when he unveiled the Umbrella Academy to the world. The line was, Our world is changing. There are some among us gifted with abilities far beyond the ordinary. I have adopted six such children. I give you the inaugural class of the Umbrella Academy. Within the trailer, as he said this, we saw a selection of shots of the different siblings in this new timeline that they found themselves in, and it seemed like they were all separated and not together. It started with five in some kind of subway network. I'm presuming it's the one that we later go on to see where it seems like it allows the passengers to travel through timelines or dimensions. Or it could be, if you remember at the end of Season 3, Ben was seen on the same subway train that his mother was on when he was born, so there could be a close connection to that as well. But I'm leaning more towards the first option and them potentially being able to travel through timelines. That would be pretty cool. The fact that the train warped when it went through a tunnel and emitted light, it's definitely not a straightforward journey. With there being a heavy focus on the timelines and the map that we saw on the wall of the subway being incorporated into the visual animation of the trailer itself, it does make me wonder if they're going to be able to visit different timelines in a much easier fashion. The fact that when they walked out of the stairs of one of the stations at the later part of the trailer and the world looked pretty much destroyed, but the world that they were in wasn't, it does make me question if that could be the case. After the shot in the subway, we saw a clip of Victor working in a bar and answering the phone. We also saw Alison with her daughter, the very person that she spent a lot of Season 3 mourning. Right at the end of Season 3, we saw that she was actually reunited with her family whilst the others weren't. Plus, they all lost their powers. So what was particularly interesting in this trailer was that she got the very thing that she always wanted and what seemed like she bargained for in the deal that she made with Reginald before he was killed. So I'm wondering if something's going to happen to her family and that's going to be why she ends up back with the Umbrella Academy. It would paint a pretty dark start to the season if they did decide to kill off her family, but I wouldn't put it past the show. As well as that, we also saw Ben looking like he was being released from some kind of prison. We know that Ben can have a temper on him, and with him not having his powers, that could have been something that gave him a sense of frustration and made his aggressive side come out. After that shot, we saw Diego involved in some kind of birthday celebration. Diego looked so different. He had a comb over and looked like a suburban dad that was just chilling, far different to how we'd seen him all throughout the previous seasons. So maybe he was embracing this newfound lifestyle that didn't put him in any danger. We also saw Luther putting on some kind of spacesuit. We know that Luther spent a lot of time up in space, so for some reason it looks like he could be required to go back up there. Plus, finally, we had Klaus on the ground with the camera spiraling around him. In fact, it actually looked like he was hanging upside down. To me, the camera spiraling around him is probably a representation of his mind, because if anybody's mind is going to be spiraling, it's probably going to be his. This was then when we saw all of them, including Lila, on the side of a road by a telephone box, looking like they were in some kind of camper van, with Luther telling them to smile. I think this is going to be after they've got their powers back. It very much seems like they're going to be going to Reginald with the intention of regaining their powers. The group had their powers drained from them in the finale of Season 3, and when they arrived in this new timeline, they couldn't utilize them. Later on in the trailer, it seemed like they were being hooked up to something and Reginald was in control of it. So it feels like maybe he's going to be utilizing some kind of energy to give them their powers back, as later on in the trailer they had extreme abilities again. Although, some did have different ones, but we'll get to that. Another thing that makes me think that it's a point where they've got their powers back is the fact that as they were all walking towards the van, Diego was repeating the line, We're back. We're back. And he was extremely excited about it. It's either that, or it's just the fact that they've all decided to reunite. Because in the Season 3 finale, it seemed like they all went their separate ways but I'm leaning more towards them regaining their powers. There was a great line in the trailer which really got across the whole sibling side of things. It was when Diego was shouting, everybody in. Somebody said, I'm in the front. Then there were groans and also a line of, why are you yelling? 
It really captured that sibling rivalry that can be present amongst family members and the small bickering that occurs, especially when it comes to who's going to be sitting where in the car. After this, Diego screamed, first mission back, which again makes me think that it's occurring after they've got their powers, as why else would they be going on a mission? Ben screamed out the line, let's go kill this, and Allison corrected him and said, this is a rescue mission. When thinking about who they could be rescuing at this moment in time, Sloan from the Sparrow Academy was one of the only surviving members, and she obviously got married to Luther in Season 3. So it does make me wonder if Sloan is the person that they're going to be looking to rescue. She didn't arrive in the same timeline as what the rest of them did, and it was never explained, so that could be why we could be seeing them potentially getting on a subway that takes them to different timelines, because she could quite literally be lost somewhere in time, hence the need for the rescue mission. After this, we then saw a selection of shots, but one that stood out to me was the fact that Reginald was speaking with Victor, and somebody said, your children bicker constantly, and then Victor replied and said, yeah, and we drive each other crazy, but when things go to hell, they're there for me. Amongst this dialogue, there were a selection of shots as well which accompanied it. One was of the group inside of what looked like could have been Reginald's place, and Victor was quite aggressively beating somebody up, maybe a guard, but it was somebody who we didn't know the identity of. There was one of what looked like Diego and Five getting into a fight and Lila needing to get involved, Allison looking stressed in the front of a car, but one that really stood out to me was the shot of Five holding onto Lila whilst she was in tears. Five and Lila haven't seen eye to eye over their time together, and they've often clashed and fought against one another, so it feels like this could be a real powerful moment. But the real question is, what is she upset about? Could something have happened to Diego, or if the train does take them to alternate timelines, does she stumble across a scenario that drives her to the point of being upset? Maybe she sees Diego die in that timeline, or even her own death. Either way, it's a moment that's going to be going around in my head and I'm going to be theorizing about until the season actually gets released. When it came to the group regaining their powers, there were a few differences to the powers that we were used to seeing them with. For example, Five's teleportation energy beam was purple instead of blue. It looked like Victor had the ability to control fire, which in my opinion is weaker than their previous power, and Diego appeared to have some kind of enhanced strength, considering he was holding somebody up in the air and throwing them through a window. I would say that it looked like Ben had his original powers in the closing shot, but with Luther, it looked like he had two completely different builds in this trailer. One where he looked hench, and another where he was nowhere near the size that we're used to seeing him. So I think that means that he's most likely going to regain the power that he had before. The final thing that we saw in the trailer was Ben looking like he was causing chaos. This does make me wonder if this could be the Ben that we saw in the post credit scene at the end of Season 3. The show teased the fact that there could have been two Bens. So what if this version of Ben is one that isn't aligned with the values of the Umbrella Academy and is a threat to them? With it being the final season, I am hopeful and optimistic that the show is going to go out on a high. I was so disappointed with the previous season of the show because season 1 and season 2 were just so good, and season 3 did just fall short. So with there being two years between the most recent installment and the one that's coming, I'm hoping they've had the time to really work on the story and create an ending that will be extremely memorable and one that we deserve. Obviously, this was only the teaser, so there was no real structure to the story that was being teased to us, so I'm hoping when the first trailer gets released, there'll be a bit more clarity. So, there you have it, the Umbrella Academy Season 4 teaser trailer explained. If you want to see a breakdown of Season 3 of The Umbrella Academy, then click on the card in the top corner. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find a playlist where I covered all three seasons. Are you looking forward to the final season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for tuning into the video and I'll see you in the next one.